Hello and welcome to Review Mobility. Our platform allows consumers to post their independent reviews on their experience with mobility companies around the UK. Whilst also learning about mobility aids and browse a selection of mobility products we picked out. Head to our website reviewmobility.co.uk to learn more. Today, we will be covering walking sticks. Let us get started. The use of walking aids, like sticks and canes, dates back to the beginning of human existence. They may be found in many different shapes and sizes and can be modified in many ways without breaking the bank or wearing out quickly. With a walking stick, you may move more easily and with more stability. The four points of contact between the user and the ground provided by a quad cane, also known as a walking stick, significantly enhance balance and stability. What do you need to know when buying walking sticks? Walking sticks can help give you extra support when walking and standing, but you can't take all your weight like crutches. How to buy walking sticks? The best way to buy walking sticks online is to shop around first, as there are so many different ones to pick from, so do your research first. Where to buy walking sticks? You can buy walking sticks online, and we have picked some that may help on this page. What are the benefits of having walking sticks? They are great for providing people with extra support and stability. What should I look out for when choosing walking sticks? When shopping for walking sticks, you should look at the following. Cost. Reviews. Size. Style. How to use a walking stick. An injured leg should always be supported by a hand, not using the walking stick, resting it on the side of the chair is a good option. Drive the walking stick firmly into the ground. To stoop over and rest one's weight on. Put your weight on the walking stick resting in your hand and push down. It would be best if you got your balance back before you can put weight on your hurt foot and go forward. Step forward with the foot that isn't under your walking stick. Please refrain from any movement that causes your legs to swivel or twist. When resitting, go back till your rear reaches the seat's back. By reaching behind you, you may get a feel for the chair. Take your time and relax on the chair. What height walking stick do I need? Determine the length of your walking stick by measuring from the top of your bump on your wrist to the floor. When holding a walking stick, keeping the arm bent slightly and the shoulders level is best. What does walking with a stick do? Maintaining your balance and reducing wear and tear on your muscles and joints may be accomplished with the support of a cane, stick, or other walking aid that you use regularly. A walking stick or cane can be a great aid for the elderly and the disabled, but if used incorrectly, it may increase the risk of falling and being hurt. When to use a walking stick? A walking stick may be of assistance if you have trouble keeping your balance due to an accident, illness, or general instability, a walking stick may be of assistance. It would help if you used a walking stick when you were trying to move such as getting up from a chair or walking around. Where to use a walking stick? It would help if you always used your walking stick when you were out and about. But if you also use it in your home for extra support. Be sure to use it at any time you are moving around. Individuals commonly use their less dominant hand to grab the walking stick. It would help if you beat the steady side with the stick before progressing with the unstable side. Where to buy a good walking stick? You can buy some great walking sticks that are both stylish and practical via the links on our website. We have picked out some you might like. Should you use a walking stick or cane? Canes are widespread because they are effective mobility aids that lessen the impact of walking on the body. The short distances are beneficial to make walking sticks a potential aid to balance and stability. Should you use a walking stick or crutch? What to answer if someone asks you if you can use a cane instead of crutches? Various people will get different advantages from utilizing a walker. Crutches take the weight off an injured foot or leg, 
whereas canes are used more for mobility and support. Should you use a walking stick or walking pole? You should use a walking stick if someone has an injury and needs help walking. A walking pole may be used as extra balance and support, but can't take the full weight of someone. Should you use a walking stick or walker? Pain relief from a localized area, like sciatica in one leg, may be achieved with the use of a cane, whereas pain relief from a more systemic area, like the back or the knees, is best achieved with the aid of a walker, if you have weakness in both your legs, for instance. So that concludes our guide on walking sticks. We hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to go and check out some of our other content on mobility aids, mobility scooters, stair lifts and much more. Head to our website, reviewmobility.co.uk for more information.